This is a very brief overview about how to plot your data and look for main effects and interactions from your experimental results. So let's say that we have an experiment where we had both males and females do a Stroop experiment and they either were exposed to the incongruent condition or a neutral control condition. So there are two factors here. One factor is gender and it has two levels. There's male and there is female. The other factor is the condition that they were exposed to. This is a within subjects factor because everybody in the experiment was exposed to each level of the factor. And in this condition there might be incongruent and there is the control condition. So what you would do is you would divide your subjects into male and female. This is your between subjects factor. And you would average across all of the reaction times for males for incongruent and control and do the same for females in both the incongruent and control conditions. So let's say we've averaged all the reaction times and for males in the incongruent condition it's say 15 seconds to complete the experiment. And for the control condition it takes them 10 seconds. Now for females, let's say that for both incongruent and control conditions, it took them 12 and a half seconds to complete those conditions. All right. And it also helps if you use this average function. So just type equals average, then a parenthesis, and select both of these cells and hit enter. It takes the average of both of these. We're averaging across incongruent across both male and female. And you can go ahead, copy and paste it here to do the same thing for the control condition across both male and female. So in other words, we're asking, what is the main effect of condition, right? We're taking the average. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female. We just want to know across all participants, what was the average reaction time for incongruent as opposed to control? We can do the same thing here. Again, type equals average parenthesis and select these two cells to take the average reaction time for males regardless of whether they were in the incongruent condition or the control condition. You can go ahead, copy, paste that here, do the same. And this asks, is there a main effect of gender? In other words, regardless of whether the participant was in the incongruent or the control condition, were males significantly faster or slower than females. All right, now that you've done that, go ahead and select these cells which have your averages for each condition. And I'm gonna go ahead, you can't see this, but I'm clicking on insert and then chart. And here I'm going to select line and 2D line. So this is a similar procedure in Windows. There should be equivalent options there. So notice here, this is just a graphical representation of what we have written in these cells right here. So here on the x-axis, this is the category or the factor of gender. It has two levels, male and female. And these traces, these colored lines, represent the factor of condition, incongruent or control. So if we wanted to see, just by eyeballing this, whether there is a main effect of gender. What we would do is because we're on the x-axis here, we would take the midpoints between the ends of these two lines, which is about 12.5. It's about right where my cursor is. Okay, that's the average reaction time for males across both incongruent and control conditions. It's as though we're squeezing these two endpoints together to make them meet in the middle. The same thing for females. It's the average or the midpoint between these two lines right here at the ends. They happen to be the same and it's about 12.5. It is 12.5. So if you compare those two points just by looking at them, you would see that there doesn't seem to be a significant difference between them. So therefore, there does not appear to be a main effect for gender. Now, if we wanted to look for a main effect of condition, we would take the middle of these two lines right here. The middle of the blue line right here, which is about 13.75, and the midpoint of the line right here, 
which is about 11.25. Okay, just imagine making little hash marks in the middle of these lines right here. And they do appear to be significantly different from each other. 13.75 appears to be different from 11.25. Again, we're not running the actual statistics to test for significance between them, but just eyeballing them, it looks like there's a difference. Now, to test for an interaction, qualitatively we ask, does the dependent variable depend on a combination of levels across different factors? In other words, does your reaction time depend on both whether you're male or female and whether it's the incongruent or control condition? In this case, there does appear to be an interaction or at least a trend towards an interaction because these lines are not strictly parallel. They appear to be crossing. So in other words, if you're a female in this example, it doesn't matter whether you're in the incongruent or control condition. Your reaction time is basically the same. However, if you're a male, it does appear to depend on whether you're in the incongruent or control condition. Your reaction time depends very heavily on that because there seems to be a very wide difference between those two. Okay, So if you just looked across both males and females, there would be no main effect and you have no idea that there was actually an interaction going on. You would have to look at the entire data set and look at all these lines. Now let's play with the data a little bit more and let's create a scenario where there is only a main effect of condition but there's no main effect of gender. Okay. So in other words what we could do here is let's say that for both males and females in incongruent condition their reaction time is 15 seconds on average. And for the control condition, regardless of whether they're male or female, their reaction time is 10 seconds on average. So now you can see here, both from the graph and from these averages, that there's no real difference between males and females. And again, if you took the midpoint right here, the midpoint right here, there doesn't seem to be a real difference between them. In other words, there's no main effect of gender. However, if you look at these two averages, which correspond to these two, the midpoints of these two lines right here, there does appear to be a main effect of congruency. So on average, participants are much slower in the incongruent condition than they are in the control condition. Okay. Also, if we wanted to add some axis labels, we could go to here, click on the chart, click on chart layout, and vertical axis title. Call that reaction time to make it a little bit clearer. Okay. For our last example, let's say that there are two main effects, a main effect for gender and a main effect for condition, but there's no interaction between them. What would this look like? Well, let's say that for males, there are 15 seconds overall in the incongruent condition, 10 seconds overall in the control condition. But for females, they are, let's say, 13 seconds in incongruent and 8 seconds in the control condition. Now these lines are parallel, and if we look again for a main effect of gender, we would be looking at the midpoints between these two ends of the lines right here for males and the midpoint right here for females and there does appear to be a main effect for gender. Females are faster on average than males, regardless of which condition they're in. There also is a main effect for the congruency or condition. The middle of this line right here, which represents the average for incongruent condition across both males and females, is noticeably different from the average for the control condition, average across both males and females. However, there's no true interaction going on here. Females are faster than males regardless of which condition they're in. So I hope that this has been an informative tutorial briefly describing how to both plot and link both the averages shown in these charts right here to the lines that you see right here.